Hi guys, welcome back to Honest Straightforward Reviews. Today I am super excited to bring to you guys a quick short tutorial on how to install a local LM. So LM is large language model and uh, what that is is just basically chat GPT type of uh, models locally so your data wouldn't be going out of your computer it'll all be locally it'll use your computer to do this now this is for mac that i am doing this tutorial so this is for mac os and i am using a m1 mac so the this will work on m1 m2 n and m3 okay so you'll need to first of all come to lmstudio.ai this is where everything happens. It's a lot easier. There's a lot of other ways out there, but I wanted to make a really quick and easy one that'll let you do everything. And these guys are really good as well, in my opinion, because they have a very clear value your privacy and they don't share your data and things like that. And also, if you guys are a little bit aware of the language models that are available on Hugging Face, like Llama 2, Orca, Vicuna and all this stuff they they will be available here and it'll be just a one-click install for all of them so what you'll need to do first is just come here click on the download LM studio for Mac and Mac OS and by the way it works on Mac or uh, M3 Max as well so the exact specs for my Mac is this is my everyday computer that I do everything on and it's a M1 Max the higher end one so the 32 core gpu there's a 24 core as well in the m1 max so this is the higher end one with 32 gigs of ram so this should be able to handle this easily so once you've downloaded it i want you to go into the file and this will just ask you to install it bang and that's easy so it's installed itself onto your mac as as well just go in there and I'll take this, so this is all work stuff and this is just play. So go in here, open it, and it'll basically load and tell you what's new on this and what bug fixes. So get past that. So let's say if you wanted to use Vicuna, Okay, so there you go. You've got all the Vicuna versions here and you can download whichever one you want. So you can go here or here, you know, and this is the latest as of September 2023. So this is the B13. That's the higher end one that uses a bit more, but that's the search. So going back to home, this is home. Okay. You've also got chats as well where you can use the local uh, UI to use use it how to use it so dismiss and you select a model which I don't have so I don't have a model right now and you can play around with this stuff as well and I'll I'll show you what to do anyways if you guys want you can comment below and I can make a video on it on how to use it so let's click on this medium quality loss okay considerable loss of quality it tells you how good the model is okay so see this one so medium loss of quality and then you've got medium quality loss medium quality loss recommended so this one's recommended and it's the biggest model here so let's click download and this will take a few minutes to download so i'll obviously speed this up even though my internet is quite good i don't know how long this will take to download it so now while this is downloading i was just playing around and visit vicuna is another one that is quite uncensored and it's really good so the 13 is should work okay shouldn't have an issue but it requires 32 gigs gigs of ram so so th that's the higher end one so the higher you go in the numbers that the more it'll cost you in compute data so let's look at that one that, that's i think this is the recommended one yep medium loss of quality and it's four bits 
So we can download that one as well. So here's other, here, you can go and have a look here as well. So going scrolling down. So I've just gone directly in search and just searched for Baikuna, but you've got other ones here as well and other ones here as well. And you can look, it's like chat GPT a little bit and you can read up about it as well. And it'll give you the URL where it is stored in Hugging Face and the paper associated with it, like what it does and all this research that's been done on it. So this is another one. You can explore some over here. This is structure on Llama. Okay. So as you can see, there's quite a few. There's there's a Vicuna here. Now another thing while we're waiting is I wanted to know note to you guys is so that's the website that's their Twitter GitHub Discord and they're quite helpful and useful if you've got Discord and you know how to use it to get in touch with them they're quite good the community is really friendly and they uh, they get back to you very quickly <music> Now the model has finished downloading so it's here and the great thing about it is it actually tells you that it requires 30 gigs of RAM 30 plus gigs I've got 32 so I should be basically pushing my luck because the system would be using quite a bit of that RAM as well so you can choose a preset here as well where what you want it to run okay so it's got all these presets in here Anyways, you can have that saved there, but this isn't a tutorial on how to use this, but just how you can get locally installed chat GPT type of things. So I love the layout. This is so, so coming into this chat thing here. So this is very much a chat GPT type of thing. So you can have it close all of this and you can have a massive area where you can work on your chats. Where, or you can have this open and have chat history down here, just like chat GPT. You can, by the way, this chat uh, saves all your sessions. So if you don't want your sessions saved, you can turn it off here. And also this basically gives you a bit of a play around with it. But if you don't want to play around with it, that's fine. So all you gotta do is bang, load it up. So again, this is not a tutorial. If you guys want a tutorial, please do let me know. And also up here, it's showing you what, how much RAMs it's using. Let me get activity monitor up and see what's going on with the RAM. So I'm in memory. So I'm way beneath what is required. So the memory is at 22, 29. Okay, now it's actually pushing it once it's loaded. So RAM usage is 21, 25 gigs at the moment, which is just about right because the system is using the rest and it's at 29 so that's loaded so let's say something like hi so hi i want you to understand uh, i want you to imagine that you're an expert videographer please acknowledge you understand so it's using the cpu quite a bit okay so as you can see it's stable it, i'm not swapping anything which is nice so it's not going over the 32 gigs of ram so there you go so it's it's told it so it's a lot slower than some of the other stuff so model configurations where you can come down and you can play around with it hardware settings apple metal gpu apple metal gpu is experimental metal is engaged during token generation only to tell if it works keep an eye on this for significant gpu drop percent drop while the model is generated so let's let's put that in cpu threads and tools now it doesn't let you use the gpu unfortunately so if you want to load it a bit more you can you can make it higher that's basically it guys i hope you enjoyed it and found it useful and informative and thank you for watching it to the end take good care bye bye